Hello, this is Paul with Logics Magazine. I will take a few minutes and share with you how I would put together a input routine for my sensors in RS Logics 5000. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our project. So in our project, we have lots and lots of inputs. We have cylinder inputs that indicate forward and retract positions. We have uh, indicators for our for our clamps, we have lasers, sensors. So we have a whole bunch, and all of these are are functioning as discrete inputs. All right. So we're just going to build a routine for our discrete inputs. All right. So here's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and look at our program. I've already built this program, but the reason I've done that uh, is I've really wanted to spend more time showing you how this part of the program functions as opposed to you just sitting there watching me uh, install instructions all right so let's go ahead and get started so let's go ahead and download this program this routine into our program <clears throat> I don't believe we'll have any errors here and then I'll walk you through what's going on here all right very important. All right. So essentially what we have is the very first rung, we have our parts loaded. So in our project, we have a left nest and we have a right nest. We have two different parts, left part, right part. Okay. So we're making accommodations for that. So this is our, our parts loaded right here. Okay. Now, if our if our left nest is not our part is not active or not present, oh here we go. We gotta go down here. If our left hand part is not present and the left hand nest is not active, okay, we we have a a, a pass through here. Okay, and then of course if our right hand part is present, then that's going to show our parts fully loaded because we're not using that left hand nest here here we are choosing to use the right hand nest and the part is loaded so we have our parts loaded uh output here all right so let's just go back well i tell you what what we could do is let's go ahead and talk about the bypass while you're here while we're here let's talk about bit off and let's say that we're we're going to bypass that. So we're not using the left hand nest and we're bypassing the right hand to get our parts loaded. Let's say we're just doing some testing. Okay. All right. So let's, let's take our bypass off, put our part present on. We're going to use the left hand nest. We're going to give us our part present. All right. And there we go. Parts loaded. Very simple. Now, it, you'll notice in our project, we have all kinds of inputs here. But in this particular demonstration for our project, for our program, we're just going to use two, two, clip, two clips in our uh, parts present. All right. So in our left hand clip one, left hand clip two present. Okay. So we have our left nest being active, right nest being active. In this case, we say, do we have left hand clip present? Yes. Do we have the right hand clip present? Yes. All right. So now, we have those two clips on the right hand clip. We're going to say that we have our right hand clip present, one and two. Now we have our clips present. So we have everything fully loaded here. We have our, our two parts loaded. We have all of our clips present. And that rep that's indicated right here. So in essence, when you're building your input routine, this is really the, the fundamental part that you need to build uh, for your for your as a template for all new projects. OK, so what I do is I take this and I built this and then I say, hey, every time I go to build a routine input routine, I will use this routine is my template. Now I can go in there and change all the different descriptions and a couple of other little things, 
But essentially, this is this is how I would do my basic discrete input routine for my sensors. All right, using RSI six five thousand. Okay, you'll notice here that I have status part, so I have a I have a um, user defined data type, right? So right here in status, and I have my part sensors. It's a double integer, okay? And so that's what I'm using for my uh, data type, all right? So I put that those in here. Everything else, for the most part, are just uh, instructions, okay? Boolean instructions. Very simple uh, for discrete inputs. I hope this is helpful. And um, if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to reach out to me. Um, if you like what you see here, and I know this is a basic uh, program or basic video uh, on, on writing a routine for your inputs, but if you don't have some basic foundation, some, some template to start building bits and pieces of your, your program, then what you're going to, you're going to do is you're going to struggle. And, and here you, after watching this video, you should be very clear how you can build a very simple, um, input routine for your sensors for RSI 6500. I hope this was helpful. Um, until next time.